So we are going to solve problem 3.20 of Sadiku book. So the question is find V1, V2, and V3 using nodal analysis. And V1, V2, and V3 is these nodes. This, this, and this. And I think we can start right away by using KCL at V1. But first, we are going to assume that the direction, where is the direction of the current is. So I will going to assume all the vertical components has to the bottom direction and all the horizontal components have right direction. So this is going there, this is going there, and that one going there. Actually, you can make assumptions of the direction anywhere but this is my assumptions so let us do KCL at V1 the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out there is no current that goes in so 0 and then all the current that goes out we will have V1 over 4 this guy and then for the two other current there is voltage source here so we cannot really calculate these nodes without the help of other nodes. So we just leave it here as this one. I will leave this as I12, the current that flows from node 1 to node 2. And then this one, I will leave this as I13. So we will have this equation from this node and we will continue on this but we will move on first into node 2 in the node 2 the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out we don't really know this current so we just write i12 and that will equal to this current v2 divided by 1 I think we need to change our pen plus V2 minus V3 divided by 2 so this one is V2 divided by 1 I just write it as V2 and we can plug this into these equations so 0 is equal to V1 over 4 plus V2 plus V2 minus V3 divided by 2 plus I13 and then we can calculate other nodes here so I will take a look at node 3 so the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out there is two current that goes in so from this one it is I13 we don't really know how to calculate this and then here plus V2 minus V3 divided by 2 and then this current is going out so we will have V3 divided by 4 so now we will have I3 is equal to V3 divided by 4 minus V2 minus V3 divided by 2 and now we can plug this into these equations so we will have 0 is equal to V1 divided by 4 plus V2 plus V2 minus V3 divided by 
divided by 2 plus V3 divided by 4 minus V2 minus V3 divided by 2 and then this one we can calculate this by calculating by multiplying both sides by 4 so we have done this and we concentrate on this this 0 and then this one is V1 and that one is plus 4 V2 plus this one is 2 V2 and then minus 2 V3 and then this one is plus V3 and then minus minus 2 V2 And then this one minus and minus becomes plus 2 V3. Okay, now V1, we don't have any other V1 here. So we will keep it, V1. And V2, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. Uh, this cancel each other. So we will have plus for V2 and the rest is 3 minus V3 plus 2 V3 this will cancel each other this one and this one will cancel so we will have only plus V3 so let name these equations as equation number 1 And I will move the zero to the right hand side. And now what will we need? So we need two more equations to solve this. And the equation before becomes irrelevant. Now, okay, let's continue. I will erase the irrelevant equations. So I will just left these equations here. So, what do we do next? We need two more equations and what can we do here? So, take a look at this voltage source. It is 12 volt. So, what does that mean? That means the difference between V1 and V3 is 12. So, V between 1 and 3 is 12 volt. So, this one it means V1 minus V3 is equal to... 12 and we can save this as equation number 2 and now there is another voltage source here it is dependent but we can calculate that so V12 this is different case so this is equal to 2i now V12 is the difference between V1 and V2 equal to 2 i what is i i is here so it is v3 divided by 4 v3 divided by 4 so we can make it 2 here so we can simplify this into 2 v1 minus 2 v2 is equal to v3 So now this is equation number 3 and now I will try to make 
the v3 here disappear so we can solve these equations so we have this equation number two v1 minus v3 is 12 so i will write it here v1 minus v3 is 12 so i just subtract this and this let's subtract that no, no not subtract i will sum it so i will get 2 v1 plus 4 v2 and this is cancelled each other and i will have 12 so i have v1 plus 2 v2 is 6 so let name this equation number 4 and then i will put this this also can be written as v1 is equal to v3 plus 12 right so i will move this equation here v1 is equal to v3 plus 12 and then i will subtract these equations so i will have v1 and this one is minus 2 v2 and then v3 will cancel each other and i will get this as minus 12 so let name this equation 5 and now between equation 4 and 5 we can we can eliminate v2 so i will move here move this to there so ah uh, so i will erase all that irrelevant equations so we will have only one that we need So we have these two equations v1 plus 2 v2 remove this there 6 so if we sum these two equations we will have 2 v1 is equal to minus 6 and v1 will becomes minus 3 minus 3 fold so this is our first answer and now we need to calculate v2 we just do similar way but not plus but subtract these equations and we will get v1 minus v1 it will cancel each other and for v2 we will have 4 v2 is equal to 18 and we will get v2 is equal to 4.5 volt And then one more we need v3 v3 is from this equation number two v1 minus v3 is equal to 12 now v1 is minus 3 minus v3 is equal to 12 and then we will get v3 is equal to what here this moves there minus 15 4 and so this is our final answer okay thank you for watching let me know if i make any mistakes bye